Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is a crescent moon in front of the sun, an impossible position on September 19th, 2022 at 2.51 p.m. in Oakland, California at the MacArthur BART station subway. I saw a crescent moon in front of the sun, an impossible position if the sun and moon are ball sphere shaped objects and if the moon reflects the sun's light and my position under both of them the moon being westerly and the sun southerly westerly I did not have a camera and was looking for someone with a camera who I would pay to record this so I thought of using google.com for moon phases. Let me explain, please. This is the moon. The moon. Phases of the moon, September 19th, 2022. This is considered a waning crescent moon September 19, 2022 at illumination 33.6%. It's illuminated on this one at 33.6%. It says so at least also here. Now to continue this is also a waning crescent on September 19th 2022 on a Monday. I did not see this thing that looks like this. I will show you the one that I that that the one I seen, the one that that that's closest to what I was looking at. I was looking mainly at this one, a waning crescent. 32.5 percent on the 19th of September. This is mainly what I saw: a crescent moon. And this was 32.5%. This one here is the moon phase for Monday, September 19, 2022. But on this one, the illumination is 39%. 39% illuminated with a tilt of 23.239 degrees and so forth. Now the moon phase for September 19, 2022 is considered a waning or a waning crescent phase moon. I did not see this one. I saw the other one. This here, the one I saw was nowhere was not 40% illuminated. In fact, it was much closer to the 32.5% waning crescent. That's what I was looking at. That's why it, it, it came to me that you cannot have a crescent moon of this type in front of the sun. Now, let me continue. This is basic trigonometry and basic geometry. The, moon, the sun and the moon are approximately at the same level in the sky. They're approximately 5% to 8% of not being exactly on the same level. But it is always a half moon if both sun and moon are ball shaped. This here is a side view. SV, side view. Now, this here is a top view, like you're looking down on top, down on top. This here is the moon, here is the sun. Here is uh, um, south, southerly, here is northerly, here is easterly, and here is westerly. The moon, the sun, if the sun, the sun was approximately 90 degrees, approximately 90 degrees to the, to the moon approximately 90 degrees to the moon. And I was standing, here's the person, 
that's me, I was standing right next to a signal light post for the cars, a signal light post. And this here represents its shadow. Its shadow was approximately 90 degrees to the moon. So that tells me where the sun is and what the degrees of the sun is. This is September 19, 2022, 2.51 p.m. in Oakland, California at the MacArthur BART station. If you look at this, if I were here and looking up at this moon, it should have been almost no, no dark side to this moon because the sun was here beaming on the face of the moon in front of the moon. In front of the moon. You must grasp that. Also, please grasp that the sun and the moon are approximately at the same level in the sky. And all of that ball in the front of a light bulb, in the front of a light bulb, won't work on or with the sun and the moon. That's just nonsense preached at universities and colleges. It's not true. This is a top view of if you were looking down on the sun and the moon and the person and the, and the signal post and the light signal for cars, light post, signal post. Now, to continue. This is H, this is I, and this is a line between these two illustrations. This here... If I was standing, standing in front of this, this moon, and I'm looking at a crescent moon, right here is lit. This here is the exact middle, exact middle of the, the moon, if it were a round ball object, the exact middle. And it, this would create a crescent moon if I were in front of the moon, of which I was, and it would create a crescent moon of this size, approximately this size. And the sun, the direction of the sun, would be this way. This way. That would be the direction of the sun, and here the sun's rays. This is, this would be the back, the back of the moon. I would be in front of it. This would be the crescent moon that I would be looking at. And the back of the moon looks like this. This is west. Westerly. And this is the angle that is needed, x degrees, angle that is needed to create this crescent. But the sun must be on back of the moon. The sun must be in the back of the moon, in the back of the moon to create this crescent so I can see it in front where the moon is dark also in the front. This one here is where the person, that was me right here, and I'm looking up at this type of moon, a crescent moon, in front of the sun. And yet they are telling us that the, sun, the moon reflects the sun's light. The sun, I mean the moon, does not, does not reflect the sun's light. The moon is a self-luminous system. Now, the angle needed, this is the sun in back of the moon. If the sun is in the back of the moon, the, almost the whole moon is lit up, except about 33% of it in the back. In the back of it, about 30, if it were a ball-shaped object. The sun is in the back. Here is the, 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 what I was, I was witnessing. The sun in the front. And the sun in the front making up a crescent moon. That's not physically possible if both sun and moon are ball-shaped objects. The sun must be in back of the moon to make this waning crescent moon, not, not in front of the moon. This here is north, this here is south, of course, and here is the person. Here is the shadow of the signal post. Here is the signal post, of course. This is a waning crescent ball moon, September 19, 2022. I'm looking straight up at it. Crescent moon. The sun must be in the back of this, this, this moon in order to create that small crescent, or almost in the back of it, up to the side a bit, shining over 
its, uh, uh, its surface from the back, not from the front. Now, what is this to say? A whole lot. The sun, the moon better yet, the moon does not reflect the sun's light. Secondly, the moon and the sun are not ball-shaped objects. What does what this come to? It is because they told you that the sun, that it, because the sun would have to be in the back of this moon instead of in the front. This is the political, economic, and educational reversal of scientific fact. To edu educationally dumb you down and to politically control you and to economically exploit you, the masses of billions of you. This is slavery of the mind. If you can be made into a slave mentally, you can be made into a slave physically. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching and please share this video, share this video and we will meet on the next video in a little while from now and some a few days from now. Please have a fine day.